Okay, we know a lot of people don't like the Tesla Semi because they think battery trucks are stupid, and the small number of them produced so far just proves Tesla is stuck with it. But you know what? The truth is, Tesla Semi, one of the quickest, sleekest, and most aerodynamic electric trucks ever built. And guess what? Tesla's not done with it yet. The new version is getting even slicker, with a lower drag coefficient and upgrades that push it closer to full-scale mass production next year. Let's be real, the Semi has been flying under the radar for years. Nearly a decade since its first reveal, only a handful have actually been made. But that's about to change. The production line is finally complete, and starting next year, anyone, not just major logistics companies, will be able to order one. Even better, it's going to cost less. Dan Priestley, Tesla's lead engineer for the Semi program, recently shared that several clever design tweaks are driving production costs down. Imagine building a massive electric semi truck in just minutes instead of months. Sounds impossible, right? Not for Tesla. The new assembly line at their latest Gigafactory is designed to do exactly that, paving the way for millions of semis to hit the road. You know, I, I think ultimately we'll, we'll make over a million, m millions probably, of the Tesla semi. Um, and uh, this is really going to be something that we'll, you'll see all over the place. And it'll also be uh, autonomous or have the, the ability to, to, be, to go autonomous down the road. So how's Tesla making this beast both faster and cheaper? And what's so revolutionary about this new production system? Let's break it down. Among all of Tesla's EVs, when it comes to defying the laws of physics, it's undoubtedly the Tesla Semi. Typically, a tractor trailer with a gross weight of up to 80,000 pounds would have abysmal performance. That's why electric trucks have always been met with heavy skepticism in the industry. Even Bill Gates argued that despite major breakthroughs in battery technology, electric vehicles are unlikely to be a practical solution for heavy-duty vehicles like 18-wheelers, cargo ships, or passenger planes, as batteries are too bulky and heavy to meet the demands of long-haul transportation. However, Elon Musk bluntly remarked that Gates knows nothing about electric trucks when he claimed heavy-duty motors couldn't run on batteries. To make Gates eat his words, Tesla didn't just build an ordinary battery-powered truck. Musk is aiming for a big rig that will revolutionize the transportation industry. A truck compelling enough to convince truck drivers to stay in the industry rather than leave amid the U.S. driver shortage. For the first time, an electric truck can travel 800 miles and has saved 1 million gallons of diesel, equivalent to $3.5 million in savings. Oh my God, now we see that's why Elon Musk always calls the Semi a money machine. Of course, the Semi was stuck in limbo for quite a while, from 2017 until now, about eight years, for various reasons. But the good news is that mass production seems to be officially gearing up, with around 10,000 Semis expected by the end of this year, and 50,000 next year. Giga Semi is more than capable of hitting these numbers. According to Tesla's Master Plan Part 3, the long-range semi, packing an 800-kilowatt-hour battery, currently uses high nickel cells, most likely NMC chemistry, to hit that impressive range. The short-range version, known as the semi Light, runs on LFP cells instead. But the real game-changer? Tesla plans to power upcoming semi-trucks with its most advanced battery yet, the HV battery, or 4680 cell. HV battery stands for high-voltage battery, and in this case, it's all about the 4680 cell. This powerhouse packs up to 300 watt hours per kilogram of energy density while cutting production costs, thanks to its breakthrough structural design. Even though Dan Priestley confirmed that the upcoming Semi Gen 2 will come with a smaller battery pack, that doesn't mean any loss in range or performance. In fact, the truck keeps its impressive driving distance, boosted by a 7% efficiency gain from improved aerodynamics we mentioned earlier. A smaller, more affordable pack also means less weight and lower operating costs, a win-win for both Tesla and its customers. We've long predicted that the Tesla Semi would make the switch to the 4680 battery, and it just makes sense. Why reserve Tesla's most advanced battery for the Cybertruck alone? The 4680 delivers outstanding power, efficiency, and cost-effectiveness. Exactly what a Class 8 truck needs. Plus, with Tesla producing these cells right at the Nevada Gigafactory, Building and integrating battery packs for the Semi becomes faster, simpler, and more efficient than ever. As in the image of the upgraded and changed parts, Dan Priestley also mentioned design improvements such as new rearview mirrors for better visibility and more aerodynamics. In addition, the Tesla Semi also has drop glass, added. Right now, Tesla Semi prototypes come equipped with traditional side mirrors, 
Each mirror houses three integrated cameras, working together with a camera monitor system that streams live footage to a pair of 15-inch displays inside the cabin. This setup not only satisfies U.S. regulations but also boosts aerodynamics and gives drivers a full 360-degree view, no blind spots. What's still up in the air, though, is what Tesla's planning for the Gen 2 mirrors. They might pack in even more cameras, totally possible. Or, as Dan Priestley hinted, the new design could make the semi even more aerodynamic while enhancing visibility. That could mean smaller physical mirrors paired with smarter, more advanced camera tech. Personally, we're hoping Tesla keeps some form of physical mirrors they just make sense for a truck like this. What do you think? Drop your prediction in the comments. One new feature we do know about is the addition of drop glass. Now, if you're wondering what that even means, you're not alone. Essentially, the driver's seat in the Tesla Semi is centered, and the cameras do a great job minimizing blind spots. But here's the catch when drivers need to interact with things like gates or checkpoints. It's not exactly convenient to open the entire cabin door just to talk to someone or hand over documents. The new drop glass, likely a lowerable side window, should solve that problem and make real-world trucking a lot smoother. Let's dig deeper to grasp how insane 50,000 units per year truly is. That's over 135 trucks per day, more than 5 per hour, or roughly one Tesla Semi completed every 10 to 15 minutes. But this is Tesla. They always exceed expectations to an almost unrealistic degree. Case in point, Model Y production is exponentially faster than what Tesla achieved in 12 months, with one Model Y produced every 33 seconds. If Tesla keeps optimizing production, the goal of completing a truck every five minutes might not be a pipe dream. It could become reality. Heavy-duty trucks like the Tesla Semi, a Class 8 vehicle, require significantly more manual assembly than passenger cars or light trucks. This is primarily due to their large size and high complexity, which makes fully automating the production process challenging. Moreover, in the annual production volume for Class 8 trucks is much lower than for passenger cars, typically only a few hundred thousand units, making investment in fully automated production lines less cost-effective. More importantly, these trucks are often built to customer specifications, with customized configurations for engines, transmissions, suspensions, and axle lengths. This requires a flexible assembly process that still relies heavily on human labor. However, certain processes, such as frame welding, painting, and installing standard components, have been automated to ensure precision and production efficiency. Thus, the mass production of the Semi represents a significant milestone for both the company and the customers who have been awaiting their orders. Elon Musk once said, It looks like an elephant moving like a cheetah, and that's spot on. The Semi's massive size masks its performance. It's astonishing that such a colossal machine consumes only 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. If you're wondering whether these figures hold up in real world conditions, major customers like PepsiCo, Costco, Walmart, DHL, and Saya have tested their Tesla semis and confirmed an energy consumption of 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, exactly as Tesla claimed. With the average electricity price in California, 1.7 kilowatt hours costs about 30 cents per mile. This means that for every 6.5 miles the semi travels, the driver pays roughly $3.30. In contrast, a diesel truck with an average fuel consumption of one gallon per 6.5 miles would cost about $3.51 at current fuel prices. This difference may seem small, but when multiplied by the hundreds of thousands of miles trucks travel annually, the savings become substantial. As a recent post by Tesla Semi on X stated, Tesla Semi fleet has saved more than 1 million gallons of diesel. At the national average diesel price of $3.51 per gallon, saving 1 million gallons equates to approximately $3.5 million. This is particularly advantageous for small startups. Now it's clear why so many transportation companies are eager to own this big rig. In addition, Tesla's plan to add a sleeper cab to the Semi isn't just a rumor anymore. It's happening. We'd confidently bet on it. Why? Because Dan Priestley himself mentioned it some time ago, we remember it clearly. Around last year, he said the Semi would eventually come with a sleeper cab, giving drivers the ability to rest comfortably during multi-day long-haul trips. Honestly, this might be the most exciting update yet for the next-gen Semi. Sleep is a huge deal for truckers. 
Fatigue is one of the top causes of trucking accidents on cross-country routes that stretch for thousands of miles. The current semi doesn't have a dedicated sleeping area, even though the cabin is spacious enough to suggest the potential. That's understandable for early prototypes focused on testing, but once full production ramps up, a sleeper cab will be practically essential. What's still unclear is how Tesla will implement it. Will they extend the cabin backward or reconfigure the interior to make space within the existing layout? Hard to say for now, but either way, it's an exciting step forward. The Tesla Semi is about more than performance and savings. Elon Musk has confirmed that full self-driving capability will soon be integrated into the truck, with deployment expected by the end of 2025, aligning with the start of mass production. Full self-driving isn't just a tech feature. It's a solution to the ongoing truck driver shortage in the U.S., where harsh working conditions have made the profession less appealing. With FSD, the Semi will be able to handle highway driving autonomously, reducing stress and fatigue-related accidents, while also optimizing delivery schedules. We actually have a shortage of truck drivers in America. That's one of the limiting factors on transport. Um, and, um, you know, and, and uh, people are human, so they get tired and sometimes, and, you know, there's... It, it, it's you know I have a lot of respect for truck drivers because it's a tough job, um, but because it's a tough job, there's not that many people that want to do it. So when you consider, okay, there's more people leaving truck driving as a profession than entering it. Well, we're going to have a real logistics problem as time goes by. So uh, autonomy will be very important to meet that that need. This is the crux that Elon Musk repeatedly emphasizes when discussing the future of the transportation industry. Integrating full self-driving into the Tesla Semi will not only be a technological leap, but also a revolution in logistics. Musk firmly believes that the Tesla Semi will reach new heights when equipped with full self-driving expected to roll out as early as late this year, coinciding with the ramp-up of tractor-trailer production. This is particularly significant because the Tesla Semi is not just an electric truck. It's the world's first Class 8 truck capable of high-level autonomous driving, ushering in an entirely new chapter for global long-haul transport. The vision Tesla paints is no longer far-fetched. A heavy-duty truck, the largest, most powerful vehicle in the transport industry, capable of self-driving for most of its journey. This will fundamentally transform how the logistics industry operates. Imagine. Routes spanning hundreds of miles no longer a grueling ordeal for drivers, thanks to the Semi's reliable autonomous capabilities. While drivers will still need to be present to monitor and handle certain situations, the automated system will significantly reduce their stress, fatigue, and workload, greatly enhancing safety during operations. The chronic shortage of long-haul truck drivers is a persistent challenge, driven by harsh working conditions, long driving shifts, constant engine noise, and relentless delivery pressures. Numerous accidents caused by drowsy drivers have sounded the alarm about the sustainability of this profession. Tesla understands this, which is why they aren't developing full self-driving merely as a technological perk, but as a comprehensive solution to improve drivers' working environment, making the job safer, more comfortable, and more sustainable. When the Tesla Semi enters large-scale production with full self-driving technology, the transportation industry will witness an unprecedented shift. Drivers will no longer need to focus and grip the steering wheel throughout the entire journey. On highways, the truck can operate smoothly on its own, allowing drivers to rest without interrupting delivery schedules. This not only improves drivers' physical and mental health, but also enables businesses to optimize transport efficiency in ways never seen before. The environmental impact of the semi is just as important. Although heavy-duty trucks make up only 1% of vehicles in the U.S., they account for 18% of greenhouse gas emissions. Saving 1 million gallons of diesel equates to cutting 22,400 tons of CO2, a significant contribution to the fight against climate change. The semi's drag coefficient of 0.4, much lower than the typical 0.8 of traditional trucks, reduces charging needs and boosts energy efficiency. While the Tesla Semi holds enormous potential, several challenges still need to be addressed. The current megacharger infrastructure is limited to a few select locations, such as Tesla's factory and Frito-Lay's facility in Modesto. For the Semi to truly become a mainstream option for long-haul trucking, expanding the charging network is critical. However, 
The Biden administration's repeated refusal to fund the Charging Corridor project combined with the strained relationship between Elon Musk and Donald Trump raises questions about the future rollout pace of megacharger stations. In addition, although Tesla's new production line is optimized with automation and on-site battery manufacturing, it will still take time to refine and reach peak efficiency. Once ridiculed and buried under waves of skepticism and delays, the Tesla Semi was thought to be doomed in the so-called production hell. But now, Tesla Semi is entering a golden era, with plans to produce 50,000 electric trucks at its new Giga factory. Not only has Tesla broken through every barrier, but it has also unveiled the most unique truck production line on the planet, where a single Semi can be completed in just 10 minutes, an unprecedented feat in the industry. With a price tag of $250,000, the Tesla Semi may seem like a hefty investment, but the savings in fuel and maintenance costs are expected to quickly pay for themselves, making it an irresistible option for logistics companies. Following a series of successful test runs, Tesla announced that the new Semi factory will be running at full capacity by the end of this year. Elon Musk confirmed that anyone can now purchase a Semi truck with customizable configurations allowing customers to tailor their trucks to their individual transport needs without breaking the bank. This is how we believe Tesla Semi will redefine freight transport across the U.S., both for large fleets and small businesses alike. Elon Musk has repeatedly pointed out that diesel trucks account for only 1.1% of vehicles on the road, yet they produce a staggering 16.4% of all transportation emissions in the U.S. That's a truly alarming figure. As the world's leading electric vehicle company, it would make no sense for Tesla to rely on diesel trucks to transport parts, machinery, and powertrains between its factories to build electric vehicles. It would be even more ironic to use diesel trucks to deliver electric cars to customers. That's exactly why the Tesla Semi was created. When Tesla first unveiled the Semi in 2017, the trucking industry laughed it off. A fully electric truck that could haul 80,000 pounds accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds, and travel 500 miles on a single charge? Even the most optimistic observers thought it was a pipe dream. The project faced constant delays, missing the original target of mass production in 2019, and only trickling out a few test units in 2022. Battery supply chain issues, a complex design, and the immense challenge of scaling up manufacturing all contributed to what Tesla called production hell. As of the end of 2024, only about 300 Tesla Semis had been built. Over half of those were delivered to major clients like PepsiCo, Costco, and Walmart, while the rest were being used internally by Tesla. 2025 marks a major turning point for the Tesla Semi. With a $3.6 billion investment, Tesla's expanded Giga Nevada factory is now ready to take the Semi into full-scale mass production. According to Elon Musk, the new facility, featuring an additional 4 million square feet, won't just build the semi. It will also integrate an on-site battery production line, eliminating the delays caused by transporting batteries from other factories. This vertical integration allows Tesla to achieve unprecedented manufacturing efficiency, a fully assembled Tesla semi every 10 minutes, which equates to over 135 trucks per day, pushing toward the goal of 50,000 units annually, starting by the end of this year. Building a heavy-duty electric truck like the Tesla Semi in just 10 minutes sounds like science fiction, and we were skeptical too. But it seems Elon Musk has once again made the impossible really.